7 News Australia. Alright. So for today's drink. Oh, I've seen this one before. Alright, the curtain, it moves, right? But then there's something that moves real quick. You gotta catch it. It's like down here. You see that? I lost it. Right there. Do you see that? That, that? that one gets my that one gets me all the time. It could easily be one of her friends. Right there. Between this moment, that person either runs this way or runs that way. Can I slow these down? How the hell can I slow it? Playback speed. Ah, there we go. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna freaking. Alright, here we go. Look. We'll look for it. Oh, yeah, right there. There's the shadow. It could obviously book it left, but I don't know if it'll book it right. Nah, it did not go right. I don't know if there's anything on the left side. Is that even the backyard? Oh, wait, there it is. You see it? Right here, something popped up. See that? That could possibly have been a cat. She's looking at it. She's looking for something. Okay, I don't think she see it. Have you seen it? She's looking for what it was. Yeah, she actually looked genuinely scared though. So that one, I, I feel like it could have been a cat. Cause cats like to bot things. So for today's drink, bop bop, right? And then it ran, runs out there, and then booyah. She looked at something. So something popped up there. Something was there. Ghosts, I don't know. I feel like it could have been an animal. The way she closes that is genuinely like, she legit looks scared. So I give that one a 9 out of 10. That one looked legit. That. Okay, these videos are completely different than the last ones we saw. Like I said, you could like chrome out people. So I don't know. And if you notice, these kind of like all these video footage is gonna be like like bad quality. Wait, that wasn't someone in the beginning. I thought that was someone in the beginning. But like I said. Bad quality, it probably is infrared, right? If you're far enough and you're moving around, you're gonna come out like a blur. Ah, yes, top five ghost sightings at Disneyland. Oh, I used to work at Disneyland. <sighs> the only ghosts there are the cast members. They're dead inside. Zynga. Conspiracy is a word that draws forward images of assassinations, political espionage, and hiding information. Great intro, man. Fantastic. Five out of five. Give you a like, but I really want to see these videos before you just... Not be super scary, but a very pervasive conspiracy theory. He's building up very well. On Earth. Either spirits with unfinished... Why would it need to be its existence? In vain, why would a ghost spend the rest of eternity, the rest of its existence at Disneyland? Right? Trust me, if you want to spend the rest of your afterlife in Disneyland, you never really lived your life. I'd rather go like somewhere nice, somewhere I've never been to as a, as a regular flesh human being. I would love to go to Japan, Europe, eh, probably go visit England, go to France, go to Paris, homies in Paris, you know what I'm saying? Go see the ghosts. In Paris, they'll probably hate the the ghost you too. Honestly, is as good as mine. Although eternity, though, I'm not necessarily value. People have died in Disneyland. This just gets covered up very well. They actually, uh, they do their best to keep you alive in the park until you get out. They they don't care about about you dying afterwards. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, just because Tomorrowland carries grand visions of the future that could be, I'm pretty sure they closed down Tomorrowland. That doesn't contain memories from the past. Uh, make it made a Marvel universe. At Disneyland, there are legends of attraction within. Or to your left, if you're in the right seat, mountain, whatever that may be. Look to your sitting alongside next to you. Now, this guy does great in exposition. I'm not saying every person with red hair who rides single rider on Space Mountain is an ethereal spirit, but the only through outer's very own resist is named Mr. One Way. I'm not like, oh, this is Mr. One Way. I'm like riding Space Mountain and we kill Space Mountain. So is this just a tall tale or is Disney hot Mr. One Way with a red headed gentleman who was nice and a guest waiting in line for Space Mountain struck up a conversation with a red. I don't think there's any footage. Okay, man, you're obviously not showing the footage. Uh, we got it. We got to find this footage. I need to see it. The right zest of scare. Number 10. Here we go. One day you're just casually cruising through a long winding road. Oh, okay, give me a second. I got to show appreciation. I, I can't just stream someone's channel without liking it. You know what I'm saying? When you catch sight of something that defies everything you've ever known about reality, you have to take a moment to stop and think, what did I just see? Even in broad daylight, we can make out the shape of a person, but there's nothing else we could really make out about it. Check it out. This is when it comes to like guessing about what's going on in the footage. Camera is recording. It doesn't. Re is it a dash cam? Okay. Why is the quality extremely low? Maybe the spirit passed when crossing the road in a similar way. And the camera follows him. Anything could be true. I wonder what a spirit will be doing wandering a roadway like this. Unless this is some really well done post editing, I'm convinced that this was a ghost 100%. I'm about 98% sure it's edited. We have quality dash cam. Why is it all de diluted and bad text? On to our number nine spot. These people are driving along the road casually, carrying a conversation between themselves and their car when they spot something mysterious. All right. Dash cam again. This one seems like it's in Europe because the camera's on the right side. Okay, that's a bit scary. Yeah. That could be kids just playing a prank. You know how hilarious it is to scare a grown adult? That's a bit scary. That is very scary. Unless it disappears. Uh, if it disappears, we gotta look at the time. There's a pretty considerable distance between the car and whatever it is, so it's hard to get a good look. But based on the reactions, whatever it was must have scared them quite a bit. We're unsure what this thing in the road is, but impeccable timing. Right after they begin to drive away, their check engine light turns on, seemingly confirming that they had indeed just encountered something. Unless I saw the check engine light on before the encounter, I don't believe it. Thing that they weren't supposed. To I could easily say that. You know, I'm a doctor. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm a doctor. Alexa, I'm a doctor. Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you. Even when they checked the car's air logs later, it said the car thought they had crashed, which obviously didn't happen, but why would it think this? After taking the time to calm down a bit, they ended up turning around and taking a different route home, probably for the better. Number eight, you're out for a drive late at night. Maybe you're heading home or grabbing some food. Speeding along the highway out of uh -huh. the corner of your eye, you catch sight of what appears to be a hard to detect man just casually strolling along the central barrier. Area of the Why are these cameras so it's bad quality? It's difficult to get a solid look, and it all happens so fast. Could also be a sign. Uh, you catch sight of what appears to be a hard to What can that be? Tech man, just you know. Ever since I learned video editing, like casually strolling, it's not hard along the central barrier of the road. To edit. It's incredibly difficult to get a solid look, and it all happens so fast. You're unsure you even saw something, but you did. Whatever this is standing on a highway barrier, it shouldn't be there. Re could also be a person who's mentally ill. Rewinding it back and slowing it down, you could almost make out the body of a person wearing some pale colored pants and a darker shirt. Debatable. To make the matter even worse, you're from Singapore, a country famous for having incredibly haunted ghost sightings. That, or they also have a mentally ill population, people who live in the streets. Could this be someone trying to cross the highway in the middle of the night? It makes you ask the question, who in their right mind even crosses highway? Someone who's extremely drunk on drugs, or they're just mentally not there. That's the only thing I can no think about. Normal. Number seven. 
So this might not be a dash cam, and instead it's a surveillance camera on a wide roadway running directly through the heart of Mexico City. But I had to share. I like the quality. I want the quality to be like a potato. In 2016. So quiet, in fact, that not even a single car passes up or down the road in this clip until we catch sight of what many to believe to be an apparition. We can see that this spirit has the appearance of a small girl dressed in white with long black. Uh, oh man, I, I feel like we could just get an image. Dress, hair covering her face. Hair. One interesting thing we could look to assume after seeing her is that it's said that after passing, some spirits will reenact the way they departed life. This spirit may have un. She reenacted her time she wore a dress with her eyes covered with her hair down the street. Fortunately, checked out after being hit by a car along this very road. To offer a little more proof to this spirit's existence, we've even got another camera perspective to look at. Of course, there are some skeptics who think it could be an elaborate hoax of some kind, so I'd love to hear what you When did this come out? 2016? When did the ring come out? Two thousand and two. Was there anything about the ring coming out in two thousand sixteen? Oh, the grudge. I wish I the grudge. The grudge. Two thousand four. Man, all these movies were made in the early two thousands. No way. Am I out of date? Am I not up to date? What's going? All right, let me see. Twenty sixteen. Uh. Ah, The Ring vs. The Grudge official trailer in 2016. You know, that could have been a thing. Around that time, they came up with the idea, like, we need to hype them up. This is uh, released this video that looks like there's a girl in our franchise. Yeah, I heard about this movie. The Ring vs. The Grudge? February 25, 2016. No, oh, this one's in September. Now we gotta watch this. I'm curious. Wait, what's the difference between the ring and the grudge? I don't even know. I do not understand any of that writing. I guess. Alright, you know what? Uh, I'll uh, I'll read it for you guys. I totally, I totally understand Japanese. This summer, the Grudge versus the Ring. Brace yourselves for this new horror epic. The Grudge and Ring. Fire, dude. Fire. And number six, we're taking a trip over to the UK, specifically Northumberland, England. Focusing in on the clip for this entry, what we manage to see may be that same pilot's apparition looking to hitch a ride. This phantom seems to be dressed head to toe in what looks to be a brownish beige uniform, which is strikingly similar to what British World War II pilots would have worn at the time. He even looks to be holding a helmet or something similar based off his posture in the clip. According to the driver, this man raised an arm signaling to be picked up, but the car was moving a little too fast for them to stop and pick the man up. They did decide to turn around and give Like I said, you could freak people out in the middle of the night. Right now, we can go to a, to the woods. I could wait on a trail for someone to just be walking by. And I just wear some old-timey clothing. Booyah! I'm a ghost from the past. Give the man a lift, but by then, the man had completely vanished. Maybe the strange man caught a ride with another driver, or maybe that ghost found his peace in some way, and there's... Ghost man still wearing his uniform after death? That freaking sucks, man. Spirit hitched a ride into the afterlife. No one knows. Number five. Typically, when you're heading down back roads at night, you'd want to keep an eye out for things like deer or other animals. What? Imagine you running into a freaking elephant. Well, unfortunately for these two, they ended up encountering... That's a lot more stranger than what I'm watching. ...exactly the opposite of something living on this late night while making the way over to Bangalore, India. 
They ended up keeping their distance for a while while trying to decide if they even wanted to. You know, it's crazy though. If you pay attention to the lore of things, like the ghosts and stuff, it's always a long hair girl in a white dress. In the, like in America, South America, Central America, whatever. When you go to India, the Middle East, it's always like an old hag lady watch. Maybe there's a hag lady. Going down that road after seeing what looks to be a spirit watching them from a distance. Eventually, they do decide to head on forward. They got out of there in a flash, flooring it past the apparition. They were going so fast that it's really hard to make out anything about the spirit aside from the white silhouette. It Why does... was it just standing there on the side of the road? Once again, low quality potato camera. It could have just been a man looking for a ride, but if that was the case, why didn't he raise an arm or something to signal these guys? It looks like a bed sheet. Like he just put a bed sheet over himself, tying himself up. It just makes you wonder, what exactly did these people encounter on this road? On to Like I said, you need a third guy. Two guys to sell it, because if it's one guy, it comes off as fake. Two guys to sell the whole idea. Three guys? It makes it infinite. It's definite. You know, just fucking have someone in the background, never really strolling until it needs to. Have an arm out. Have wear something. Wear something to camouflage like this. The way I have my my hat, like you see how I could do chrome, chrome about it. That's all you gotta do. Number four. Imagine it's late at night. You're driving along a quiet back road when ahead you catch sight of something that you just can't believe. Why dress long hair, girl? What? Roads in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. I mean, come on, you're. I would love to have the opportunity to scare someone like this. I would love it. I, um, when I was a kid, I used to hide around the house and watch uh, my dad from a distance. He wouldn't know I was there. As soon as he drops his guard, that's when I'm freaking ah! boom. It works. It's great. I had a blast. I haven't scared anyone like that in a long time. Asking for something like this. This figure looks to be that of a young girl with long black hair wearing a white. <sighs> Middle of nowhere. That looks like a. Like a like a wall to a house, like a fence. White dress. Gate. He stands in that road for what feels like an eternity as the driver continues to question what he's even seeing before getting out of there. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. If it's a ghost, it goes through. If it's a person, he might be charged with involuntary manslaughter. Also, you would have proved that ghosts are not real. Oh my God! Think about it. What is this? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! All right, he's he's not selling it. I feel like this is something he came up with. That's his friend, daughter, niece. What stands out to me is that this I heard someone laughing in the background. A shadow from the car's headlights, implying that there is definitely someone there in that moment. Spirits that manifest themselves in such a physical way are known to give warnings or off from heading further down the road to Ugh. protect him in some way. If the apparition, it, so it could be fake. Heading over to the states nah. for number three, specifically along the 91 nah. freeway in California. What? California? Ah, uh, been there. There's Riverside, LA. Oh, dude, that's the 91. Our Is it? Nah, it's just... Driver's out for a late night ride along the Curious. highway, listening to the radio, when as they're driving, they notice something really off-putting beside them on the road. A highway man. Is that a person? You could definitely make out how the apparition has a human shape, but considering we could see the barricade through the silhouette, it's still partially true. Alright, here it is. It could be someone, but this is, like I said, low quality camera, and it's moving. So glitches do happen. It probably thought it was a person, it got a sign. But now like, all that girl had to say, is that a person? Translucent. Even if it was just a camera malfunction and it was a normal person, why would someone be walking along the shoulder of a highway this late at night? At it's California. There's countless people I, I've seen go onto the freeway. And usually they're deranged. Maybe, yeah, this guy's probably deranged. Anyway, the passenger in the car seems really thrown off by it too, as we hear them say, Is that a person? By the way they said it, it sounds like they also have no idea what they just passed by or why it was there. Number two, nah. picture this, you head out for a nice nighttime cruise on your motorbike. All is well and the weather is nice. Then you catch a sight of a man stumbling while walking along the road you're currently driving along. Of course you might think it's just someone who might have had a drunk, drunk man. 
a few too many to drink, but there seemed to be an air of mystery about this guy, so you turn around to check only to see he has completely disappeared. This guy experienced exactly that as he went out for a nighttime drive in Mumbai. The driver went on to explain in the video that he was scared to turn around as his area was well known for many robberies. Exactly, many robberies. This guy either is a highwayman trying to jack him, or he's afraid that this motorcycle guy is going to jack him. But you know what you would do? You would hide. I saw a motorcycle just come back. Like, oh no, this guy wants, he wants trouble. After an experience like this, I would be much more worrying about other things. Number one. Taking place in Gettysburg, you've probably heard of the famous battle that happened. Ah, uh, is this that bush thing that baffles me? Oh no, it's the other one we saw earlier. Just kind of filmed the camera. The soldiers from that very battle have. But like I said, when it comes to stuff like this, you got you gotta ask yourself: Is this something like why is that guy recording at that moment? What is he doing? And that should give you the answer. What is he doing here at the beginning? Is he filming on purpose to hopefully catch something, or to film it and then uh, edit it? Haunted the grounds of the town ever since. All right, so we're gonna sit here for a while. Just kind of film the camera. A lot of trips left from here. See what happens. These two guys decide to post up beside one of the battlegrounds, hoping of course. to catch sight of something supernatural. It takes some patience while they're sitting. Two there, guys, right? But after a bit of waiting, they find what they're. In one cup. Find. Holy shit! You scared the shit out of me. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You watching scary ass videos? You scared the shit out of me! You asshole! You scared the shit out of me! You said two guys, right? I just threw one cup in there. <laughs> Dude, you're That's loud. Awesome. You're loud on my headphones. Oh, really? Yeah, because the videos are low. Oh, my God. All I heard was, one cup. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Got my ass, bro. Oh, my God. Jeez. 